In today's video, I want to tell you the six things you need to know and should know and remember before sleeping with a new woman. Most men get a lot of performance anxiety about pleasing a new partner and it completely kills the vibe in the bedroom for both parties. So in order to make sure you do not let your nerves get the best of you, there are six things you should know and remember that will not only help you feel more comfortable and confident in the bedroom, but also guarantee that everyone has a good time. That said, let's dive in. I'm Marnie and from here on out, I'm going to be your very own personal wing girl. And every week I'm gonna give you the no BS insider info about what women really want versus what they say they want, plus the most effective methods to win over any girl you like. So just hit that subscribe button now so that you never miss a video again. So before I dive into telling you what every man should know before sleeping with women, I want to tell you about today's video sponsor, Beducated, because they are going to help you up your performance game in the bedroom, like literally. Now, my how-to sex videos are damn good, right? But uh, it's just me talking and explaining things to you, which can only help so much. That's why if you want to up your bedroom game, you have to check out Beducated. Beducated is an amazing video online platform that brings pleasure-based sex education videos right to your bedroom through 100 plus online courses from experts around the world. In layman's terms, it has videos of everything I'm talking about, but with real life people showing you how to do everything so you can actually do it right. Beducated is a safe space for all, no matter relationship status, sexual orientation, or gender. And right now, you can try it out for one day for free. And if you like it, which you will, it's only $9.99 a month, or you can get 40% off the yearly pass with my coupon code MARNIE. Build sexual confidence, become a skillful lover, and learn to communicate about sex more all on Beducated. To start becoming more sexually confident and fully educated on sex, go to the link below in the description box and enter coupon code MARNIE. Beducated is about to change your sex life and is a MARNIE approved, wing girl approved, female approved site that every man should subscribe to. Subscribe, bleh, subscribe to. Click the link below to sign up for Beducated now and use code MARNIE. Your future partners will thank you me for it. And you'll also thank me because I'm about to tell you things that will make you a better lover. So here are the six things to know before you sleep with a new woman. Number one, she isn't expecting your best. You might feel the pressure to give women some mind blowing experience that first time you guys do it. But the reality is that no woman assumes that will be the case. Women understand that when two people are exploring intimacy together, it takes time to align. We know that both parties are going to be anxious because we're going to feel anxious, right? We're in our head too. And we know things may be a little bit clumsy because we're going to be clumsy. In fact, sometimes a bit of awkwardness is a great way to laugh and take the seriousness out of the room. Women know this is a process where you two will uncover what you enjoy together and that you will have to build the right communication patterns together. So if she likes you, she'll be patient because she knows the best is yet to come, right? Number two, she can't sense your inexperience. If you haven't had much sexual experience, you're probably worried that women will somehow pick up on it, like we're mind readers. But women aren't mind readers, and honestly, there isn't much physical difference between an experienced man versus an, versus an inexperienced one. The act of putting your thing inside her remains the same, regardless of your experience level. So if you go a little slower, a little faster, deeper, shallower, it's not going to make you stand out as a newbie. It's not like she's thinking, wow, this guy thrusts like an amateur. Right? The only way a woman is likely to know your inexperience is if you tell her or constantly apologize for your performance. If you just do your thing, however it may be, she'll just think it's part of the normal discovery process. And this is actually where Beduated comes in because you can learn a lot before you actually get into bed. So number three, she doesn't need to have an orgasm to have a good time. Adult films and videos really like mess with your minds. If you watch enough of it, you might believe that women are supposed to have toe curling orgasms every single time. Really, many women struggle to orgasm during the sexual act, or they don't orgasm every single time, or they don't orgasm from sex. And this is especially true when it's with a new partner. Again, we all have a higher level of anxiety, uncertainty, and are focused on figuring each other out, which makes it harder 
to come. More importantly, women don't need to orgasm to have an incredible experience. So much of their pleasure is about the vibe, your closeness, your eye contact, and the feelings that you share together. Finally, women have so many more nerve endings down there than you do, and sex feels incredible the whole time and the orgasm is is just a nice bonus unlike with men where most of the pleasure is during those final moments number four if you struggle to stay up women usually think it's on them no guy wants to show up in the bedroom with a wet noodle right but the pressure to stay hard causes anxiety and keeps you soft when you're feeling anxious it's almost impossible to feel aroused as well right we can only hold one strong emotion at a time. So let me provide some self-relief. If for some reason you don't stay hard, women usually assume it's something about them or the circumstances. We're more concerned if we're hot enough or if you're enjoying yourself. We're not thinking, this guy can't get it up. What's his problem, right? Maybe like 5% of women think that, but most of them don't. I'm not saying you should mislead women or put the blame on them. Rather, if you just let your partner know, hey, no stress, not sure what's going on, but I'm having a great time with you regardless, then she can still have fun too. Remember, the entire experience for women is about more than just penetration or climax. Plus, this is a great segue to the next point, which is number five, if you can't use your member, you've always got your hands and your tongue. So let's say you're struggling to get it up, right? If you're in your head and it's just not happening. If you don't make it a big deal, then she won't see it as one. Remove the pressure to keep trying and instead offer to please her for a while. Vice versa, you can also ask for her to touch and play with you too. If you've never just made out, messed around, laughed, and ran your hands all over each other with a new woman, you should absolutely try it. It's a lot of fun and helps reinforce that it's not always about the end goal but the journey. So funnily enough, when you lose yourself with a woman like this, that freedom paves the way for more arousal and gets you ready to rock and roll most of the time. Number six, she wants you to enjoy it too. I'll repeat it once again, women aren't expecting you to knock their socks off from the get-go. So many guys imagine women going through a 10-point checklist of their performance. Like they think we're like moving down a list, doesn't thrust deep enough, too quiet, sweating too much, or they imagine a woman actively comparing them to other men in that moment. The reality is a girl is just as concerned about providing you with a good experience as you are with her. If not, that's not someone you should worry about connecting further with, to be honest. Her checklist is more like, is he turned on? How do my stretch marks look? Uh, does this position look flattering? How do I smell down there? Do I, do I look chubby like this? Like, oh God, my rolls. These are the things going through our head. So instead of focusing on your technique and stamina, just connect to that moment. Feel the physical sensations, listen to her sexy voice, and explore the positions or ideas that excite you deeply. These are all things that are easily within your control. So let yourself feel the softness of her skin, relish and how good it feels when you thrust inside her, let her soft moans turn you on, look her in the eyes while you enter her. These are things to get you back in the moment, right? Don't hold back and let the sensation of moving in and out of her run through you and make you moan in satisfaction. So if she can see you're having fun, she's gonna feel the same way and she'll, experience, she'll leave the experience with only positive associations and that is a win, but that said, if you're someone who hasn't had a woman in your bedroom in a while and you're going through a dry spell that you want to end right away, you should click the link in the description box below and check out Beducated because it is going to show you how to do everything in the bedroom and be the best, most masterful lover that you can be. Thank you again uh, for watching this video to the very end. And as always, I will see you again next week.